although the Earth is fundamentally a water world, with oceans covering more than 70% of its surface, we know very little about what is below the waters. In this light, the water appears to be an alien realm within our own. Many of its species, both in terms of type and number, are yet unidentified. Their actions and adaptations are still a mystery. Even the world's contours have yet to be mapped. The surface of Mars is perhaps more familiar to us than the ocean floor. At a basic level, knowing the sea understands our planet better. However, the realm beneath the waves is full of mystery and magic. Experts estimate that more than 80% of our ocean is undiscovered, unseen, and unknown as of last year. As a result, the myriad of unsolved mysteries of the maritime area have become attractive topics for debate. So let's get started. In this video, we will be discussing about 8 ocean mysteries that scientists haven't discovered till now. Before starting, make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video update. Number 8. Greenland Coral Reefs Researchers discovered a deep coral reef while collecting samples taken from 9,000 meters below the surface off Greenland's southern coast in 2012. When the team descended their instruments into the depths and the coral shattered everything, they recognized there was a reef below them. The team was initially enraged by the devastation of their equipment, but after they understood what was beneath them, they became ecstatic. The Greenland Reef is practically unknown, yet identical to cold water reefs in Norway are 8,000 years old. Cold water reefs, unlike tropical coral, may thrive in water as cold as 4 degrees Celsius in complete darkness. Unlike their tropical cousins, cold water corals do not depend on sunlight for energy. Instead, they rely on zooplankton transported to the reef by ocean currents. Cold water reefs and the species that live on them are still shrouded in mystery because of their depth. Number 7. How does plastic garbage end up in the ocean? And where does it come from? While the massive amounts of plastic products manufactured during the last half century's plastic age have improved our lives, the plastic garbage made its way into the ocean provides new issues for nature. A recent study conducted by Kyushu University predicts that 25.3 million metric tons of plastic debris have entered our oceans, with roughly two-thirds of that unable to be tracked. While researchers have been inspecting the ocean surfaces and beaches to evaluate how much plastic waste has made its way into the oceans, large quantities of ocean plastics are assumed to be well below the surface or on the sea floor, out of reach of scientific observation utilizing common sampling gear. To assess the amount and whereabouts of plastic waste in Earth's oceans, we have to consider the whole process from their birth to burial, starting with the emission from rivers into the ocean and continuing with their transportation and fragmentation into pieces, says Atsuhiko Izobe, professor at Kyushu University's Research Institute. Tons of plastic produced on land are tossed into the water every year. However, researchers have yet to figure out all of the nooks and crevices where our plastic waste finds its way. 99% of all the plastic is missing, oceanographer Eric Van Sebel says. We have dark plastic. Like the astronomers have dark matter and dark energy, we have oceanographers. We don't have an idea where most of the plastic in our ocean is. We've lost it. Number 6. Why do whales end up stranded on beaches? Is it the fault of humans? We discover marine life as we dive deeper. Researchers are often asking questions regarding their strange actions. Thousands of marine creatures, such as whales, are caught on beaches or in shallow waters close to shore every year. Stranding has been on the rise, according to certain studies. But why do animals behave in this manner? Is it the fault of humans? It's a challenging topic to answer, since while we know that most people impact the ocean environment, determining how those impacts affect individual species can be tricky. However, it is critical to figure it out. Because how can you protect animals if you don't know how you're damaging them? Darlene Ketten, a forensic whale death investigator at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. She investigates whale fatalities in the style of law and order. What keeps us in the lab and on the beach is searching for more and more information, Ketten adds, explaining how she conducts her research. Number 5. Is it possible for a human to be friends with an octopus? Netflix premiered The Wisdom of the Octopus, a series of documentaries about a man's bond with one of these eight-armed creatures in September 2020. If this film impacted more than one person, the question remains, is this connection genuinely possible? We know that humans and pets can form strong bonds, but what about octopuses? Unfortunately, it is impossible to examine one of the beast's nine mini-brains to acquire its viewpoint. The question, however, continues to fascinate writer and journalist Ferris Jabra, 
It's like an interstellar journey, he confides. It feels like we can get as close as possible to that kind of extraterrestrial contact moment. Let's take a pause for a few seconds so that you guys can quickly go and subscribe to our channel. I hope you've subscribed. Let's continue our video. Number 4. How many fish live in the ocean's mysterious twilight zone? The sun shines less and less as you delve deep into the ocean. The mesopelagic, or twilight zone, is about 200 meters beneath the surface. Our understanding of these black depths diminishes when the sun fades nearly totally out of view. Although the actual number of fish that reside in the twilight zone is unclear, the zone is home to several thousand species of fish and over 700 kinds of marine animals. Researchers estimate that the twilight zone comprises 90% of the ocean's fish biomass, owing to the depth range of the twilight zone. It's almost easier to define it by what we don't know than what we know," said Andon Lavery, an acoustician at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. It's remote. It's deep. It's dark. It's elusive. It's temperamental. Nonetheless, this part of the ocean is vital. It's likely, but not known, that more fish live in the twilight zone than in any other part of the ocean, and that these animals of the deep play a significant part in climate regulation. Number 3. Why do so many sea creatures glow? It is incorrect to assert that there is no light in the ocean's depths. There is light, but it is not from the sun. Instead, divers see otherworldly shows of bioluminescence deep in the ocean and on the surface, glittering like fireworks in the dark. Almost every deep water organism flashes a light. There was just all of this flashing and glowing sparkle all around me, says marine biologist Eddie Widder about her undersea adventures. You're not viewing it at a distance, you're in the center of the display. In fact, you're part of it because any movement you make triggers flashes all around you. Widder has spent her professional life attempting to understand why so many aquatic organisms shine. Her pursuit has brought her face to face with some of the world's strangest and most elusive species. Number 2. Purple Orb Scientists from the Ocean Exploration Trust, established by oceanographer and Titanic originator Robert Ballard, discovered a weird purple blob on the ocean floor off the coast of California in 2016. Unsure of what it was, the scientists joked that it was a spider egg sac or a little mama octopus, dubbed it Blobber's Purplish, before battling a crab to recover the specimen. It has the appearance of a bizarre and fascinating jellyfish. The orb is still being investigated, but it's thought to be a new species of velutinids, a sort of snail. Number 1. Giant Squid The mythological kraken from Pirates of the Caribbean and Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea could be this massive creature. Although it's improbable that the enormous squid assaulted ships, nothing is known about this enigmatic deep-sea species. It wasn't even photographed alive until 2004, and it wasn't trapped at the surface until several decades back. It took until 2012 to achieve underwater video. Scientists know very little about the lives of these deep-sea giants, including how big they develop, but some estimates put their size at 66 feet. Only their relative, the colossal squid, may be larger, but not in length, and even less is known about them. These were some of the unknown discoveries we have heard of. What are your suggestions on these? Share your opinions in the comment section. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you want to get updated about our newest videos, click the notification bell to never miss one. Stay tuned to this channel till the next video, and until then, see you soon.